Now, introduction to physics. What is physics? Physics comes from the ancient Greek word physica. It's at this point that you'll want to start taking notes. Now, for this learning object, we will be looking at question 66 from chapter 13, focusing on damped oscillations. So let's take a look at the question. A car... <coughs> You're wearing protective goggles to destroy my car? Safety first! Stop! And its shock absorbers behave like a damped mass spring system, with the mass of the car being 1,500 kilograms, the spring's constant being 60 newtons per meter, and the proportionality constant being 1,500 kilograms per second. The car hits a pothole... What are you talking about? Well, pothole... Right, no! Oh. No! and begins to oscillate. After how much time would the amplitude of oscillations drop to half its initial value? So about half. Exactly half. <laughs> exactly half. Now, how would we go about solving a type of question like this? <laughs> First, let's just write down what we know. M is equal to 1,500 kilograms. K is equal to 60 newtons per meter and B is equal to 1,500 kilograms per second. What equation can we use to find amplitude and time given that we only have these three values? How about equation 1372 in our textbook, found on page 366? Yeah, that'll work. As you can see, this equation doesn't use any values that we don't know. To emphasize that this A is the initial amplitude, I'm going to label it as A naught. A naught? What are we looking for? Time. Specifically, the time when the amplitude is exactly one half of its initial value. To do this, we will substitute amplitude as a function of time in for one half of our initial amplitude. Now we need to do some algebra. Ah, uh, so boring. The a naughts cancel out, and we're left with one half equaling e to the power of negative bt over two m. Taking the natural logarithm of both sides, we get ln one-half equaling ln e to the negative b t over 2m. Exponent out in front, and that gives us ln of one-half equals negative b t over 2m times ln e. And ln e, as we know, dang it, <laughs> is simply equal to 1. This means that our equation is now ln of 1 half is equal to negative bt over 2m times 1. Now we're trying to find t, so we need to isolate it ln of 1 half equals negative bt over 2m, so now we have to take 2m and put it to the other side. I gotta take it on the other side. So 2m ln 1 half is equal to negative bt. We still need to isolate t, so we divide both sides by negative b. This gives us 2m ln 1 half all over negative b is equal to t. And this is the equation we have to find the time when the amplitude is one half its initial. See, this is easy. All the math. Now what we have to do is take our equation and simply plug in our known variables. This gives us two 
times 1,500 times the ln of 1 half divided by negative 1,500 equals the time. Notice that we didn't use the spring's constant. That doesn't make any sense. This is because we don't even need it to solve the question. So let's go find the time. The 1,500s on the top and bottom cancel out. This leaves us with negative 2 times the ln of 1 half. If we put this in our calculator, we find that t is equal to 1.386 seconds. This is our answer to how long it takes for the amplitude to decrease by half. Wow. You just wrinkled my brain, man. Now, to be extra sure of ourselves, let's double check that this is indeed the right answer. Let's just restate everything that we already know for certain. The time of 1.386 seconds is what we want to test to make sure that it is correct. To do this, we will use our same formula as before. Remember that what the question is asking is the time required to make the amplitude one half of what it initially was. We found that the time of 1.386 seconds was the amount needed to make the amplitude one half of its initial. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Pew. So what we want to do is write down the formula and insert all of our variables, both the ones that we know and the ones that we calculated. All except, of course, the k value, which is ultimately irrelevant. So plugging in the b value, we get the exponent of negative 1,500 times our t value, which we found to be 1.386, divided by 2 times our m value of 1,500. This is all part of our exponent, even though it may not look like that with how I've written it. But trust me, it is. I'm a good cop. Okay. You can trust me. Okay, well... Hey! I'm not falling for that! Now if we calculate e to that huge exponent, we end up getting a value of 0 0.50, otherwise known as a at time t, in this case the value we are testing, is equal to one half of the initial amplitude. And indeed, this is what we were looking for in order to confirm our answer. So now, we are even more certain that 1.386 seconds is our answer. And we took it one step further by double checking. Here's the envelope and you just pushed it, okay? <laughs> That's what you did. There was a time I used to look into my father's eyes In a happy home I was a king I had a golden throne oh.